Traditional handmade silk seems even more precious in today's mechanized era. Thus, Wu Jin is preserving not only a disappearing handicraft, but keeping the memory alive. In ancient times, silk was the main industry in Wujian. People here pinned all of their hopes on these silkworms, and many customs came out of silkworm farming. What is a type of folk acrobatics called climbing the bamboo pole? The performer climbs a tall bamboo pole and does amazing actions. Locals hold an annual celebration to honor the silkworm goddess during the first week of April. The bamboo pole performance is always the most exciting show of the celebration. At the top of the pole, the person performs dangerous moves. It takes the visitors back to the town's glory days. How do people create a scenic area from rundown houses and ruined streets? The Wu Jen model stimulates heated debate. You're watching Wu Jen, Venice of the East. The Daily Bell indicates that it's time to put out the garbage. Zhu Hui Gong and his wife take out their trash cans to a special wharf. Each trash can is numbered, so collectors can check that every household has sorted the waste according to the regulations. The garbage collection relies on people's cooperation. Everybody follows the regulations because they appreciate that a clean environment doesn't come without concerted efforts. The waterways divide the town into four sections. The still undeveloped south area reveals what the town originally looked like. The decline of traditional industry and changing role of the waterways lead to Wu Jen's downfall, leaving a previously proud town broken. The former glory of the town still hides within the features of the old houses. These dilapidated buildings are the keepers of Wu Jen's cultural heritage, but require immediate attention. In 1999, a big fire in Shijia Street sped up the restoration of Wu Jen. Here, 
漆黑的这么一个状态